As KMT presidential candidate Ho Yo Yi continues on his U.S. tour, he's coming under fire for his recent remarks. Addressing a New York think tank, Ho said that if elected, he would not, quote, harbor unrealistic fantasies about Beijing's intentions. But the DPP says Ho has always been unrealistically optimistic about Beijing, as shown by his plan to restart the cross-strait services pact. The DPP accuses Ho of making statements in the U.S. that contradict his true political stance. Ho Yoyi claims to have a very good relationship with the U.S., but from what we can see, the KMT has a long record of stirring up doubts about America. There's plenty of evidence to that effect. As for cross-trade affairs, the KMT has long held unrealistic fantasies and expectations. At a Monday press conference, the DPP said that Ho Yoi's visit to the U.S. may as well be to an alternate universe because the statements have been antithetical to his political position in Taiwan. The KMT even boycotted and opposed multiple initiatives on asymmetric combat capabilities and military cooperation with the U.S. The KMT has long been highly skeptical of Taiwan-U.S. security exchanges, vigorously boycotting them. During this visit to the U.S., Ho was pretending that the KMT has not taken such a position on these issues. DPP lawmakers took issue with Ho's remarks on defense, saying his policies seem to be based entirely on deterrence measures. I don't understand why Ho Yo Yi, why presidential candidate Ho, only mentioned deterrence when speaking about national defense. That's a massive loophole in national strategy. Ho is joined in the U.S. by Yao Qingyu, the new Taipei government secretariat. The DPP accused Ho of abandoning his duties as mayor and leading an exodus out of his city's administration. In the U.S., you had a sit-down with young people. You did some cooking, saying that if you ever become unemployed, you'd like to come to the U.S. to flip burgers. You have neither taken leave nor resigned from your current position. You are still the mayor of New Taipei. Secretariat Yao took leave in accordance with the relevant regulations. The DPP blasted Ho for prioritizing his campaign at the expense of the people of New Taipei.